is the ploy maker. Now, uh, I'm going to be showing you a few... Dang it. I'm not supposed to see that yet. Run. A few redstone gadgets I've made. Well, they're not really redstone, because they don't use redstone. But, uh, it looks like you use redstone, because it's pretty epic. It's that epic. Now, as you may already know, this is the pocket edition that I have actually... Uh, I do have a bunch of mods and a texture pack, but uh, I can promise you that this is not a mod. This is all complete. This is all totes legit. I use that word right now. Anyways, so, uh, ugh, dang, so close. Anyways, oh crap, was my finger on the microphone again? Anyways, I'm sorry if you hear a scratching noise before. I hate it when I do that. Anyways. <laughs> Let's see this door in action. So we're going to do. And there we go. So yeah. Pretty epic. But uh, I do have a whole lot more complicated stuff made than this. But for now I'll just show you how it works. And for that I actually have a little section over here just for explaining this now as you can see I have a little river of water flowing through here now it is sticking up over the block a little bit so it could flow forward if it wasn't for the uh, the hole there which is making it flow down so of course as you can see if you place a sand block here it falls and fills up the hole so the water comes and destroys the torch. Now basically what this does is you you know you can stack uh, sand on top of torches and uh, what the water does is it comes along and it destroys the torch of course and another helpful thing to note is that uh, if uh, sand falls on a torch that's on ground level like that it immediately gets destroyed and this will be very helpful if you're making a very complicated thing and uh, you have to destroy all the sand to reset it because one bad thing about this is you have you do have to reset it every time so it's not really that good as a conventional door but if you wanted to show your friends like something cool or if you wanted to do this for an adventure map that would be epic I'm actually creating it dang it I'm actually creating an adventure map using these and uh, I'm also thinking about making, you know, the PvP map, the walls. And I'm thinking about making it using this concept. Now, to make more complicated devices, really it's just uh, more of these columns and changing how far you want them to fall. Because Wait, I'll just show you. Because this is going to fall two blocks, like uh, no matter how high I stack it, because <gasps> underneath it there's only the torch, the It'll fall two blocks because you find one, two, so when the torch is destroyed, it'll fall two blocks. No matter how high you stack it, so if it's up here, just make you a quick door here. Let's say this is ground level, and you just place the sand here, and you have your door. So that's pretty cool, I guess, but uh, to make, here's something I have that's a little more complicated. And this is a set of stairs. Now I know what you're thinking. But ploy maker, that doesn't look like stairs. Well, shut your mouth. And I'll show you. Let's see here. Place the sand here. Wait for it to fall. There you go. Now there is a little bit of a delay, but you know, who cares? Because it's freaking stairs that just came there. They weren't there before, but they are now. Amazing. But there you have it, and uh, I actually have a little tunnel to the inner, inner workings. I might want to plug the water back up so that uh, it doesn't get in the way. Always get in the way, water. So basically, here's a tunnel to the inner workings of this. Now, as you can see, it's pretty much the same thing. The water here will. Uh, when the hole down there is uh, filled with the sand you place, the uh, water will flow this way, as you can see. 
Oh yeah, that there's torches there. Ignore that sound. But uh, under here, I actually have a little device because to reset this, you have to destroy. Bleh, to reset this, you have to destroy all the sand. So I have a little device here that will help me out and make it a whole lot quicker. So yeah, this is a whole lot faster than destroying it by sand, or sand, <laughs> than destroying it by hand. Or let's see if I can. Do, yes. There we go. But anyway, so once we have all the sand destroyed, I'll show you kind of how it's set up over here. Um, and okay, so the water is going to come out here. When it reaches this block, of course, it's going to flow this way and that way. So we have a torch here. When the water flows this way, it's going to destroy this torch. Now, the only reason I have the torch there instead of on the wall like I wanted it to be is just because, like, the Minecraft, it's, I guess it's not really a bug, but I'm going to call it a bug, because it bugs me. But uh, anyway, you place the torch here, and it appears over there. Which makes me mad. I want to cry. But anyway, you place the other torches here. As you can see, they all flow down. Because uh, the first column of sand, of course, goes all the way... All, well, all of them go all the way to the top, but the first column of sand... You want to fall five blocks, because once it falls five blocks, it'll be right here, so you can jump on it. So, of course, the next one, you're going to want to fall four blocks, so it'll be right here. The next one, you want to fall three blocks, so it'll be right here, four blocks, and you want this one, or, <laughs> I'm sorry, two blocks. You want this one to only fall two blocks, you only want this one to fall one block, and this one I didn't destroy because it doesn't fall. It's going to be the last column, and it's not, and it doesn't fall, so it's just there. So, uh, as you can see, this one's going to fall one, two, this one's going to fall one, two, three, four, five blocks. This one's going to fall one, two, three, four blocks. This one's going to fall one, two, three blocks. This one's going to fall two blocks, and this one's going to fall one block. Now we have to, uh, set it up reset it. I might cut to where I have it all reset. I probably won't because I'm too lazy anyways. But um, here we go. You just want to take all the sand and we want to stack it all back up to the top. But yeah, this is a this is a very cool device. I like it. Do you guys like this? Is it cool? I know it's a pain in I know it's a pain in the butt to reset. I asked if it was cool though. But yeah. Oh, I hope I cut this part out. <laughs> but there we go. And it's all reset and it's ready to go again and just to show that I have reset it to Yeah, I have sound different sounds set too. And just to show that I've reset this all correctly, I'm just going to show it to you again. And then I'm going, and I'm not going to reset this again. I'm going to say, screw you, and go away. And walk to my next device. Now, my next device, I'm not actually going to show you how uh, it works. Because if you understand all of this, you should be able to figure out how this works. But uh, basically, it's kind of like the stairs. You want it to fall an X number of blocks. The X being how high you're, uh, how high the, uh, display is, because this is really a display case. It's really cool. Shut up, Link. So just watch this. Oh? And what might this be? This is my YouTube, uh, pixel art of my YouTube logo. And, uh, yeah, you should go go find this logo down at the bottom and you should subscribe to me, like right now, before I get mad. So, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and all that junk, blah 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 blah.